This is a classic siding. At night. Very hard to record sometimes. Not because you have a very good camera, but sometimes the camera has problems to find the focus of the object. Another siding. This place is Aurora, Toronto. Next one. Same place. The object appears and it's going to bring a very huge bright flashlight to say hello up here as you can see what these three signs they have in common they were previous arranged so they didn't happen because oh I was there at that time and I had a camera and I had the chance to film it next one this is society in Spain with one of our groups. The object came to the event. Next one. This is Peru. Another one. Next now. This is one of the guys we have the chance to meet. Not only once, many times. Next one. All this last few pictures are related with our experience. We have thousands of experiences with UFOs, physical encounters in the last 33 years, since 1974. What is happening all over the world in regards to the UFO phenomena is far away beyond the, what you imagine you have right now. We have physical encounter with extraterrestrial beings. Here you have some people having the experience with me in the field here in Toronto, Canada and other people who used to work with me also in the same way in the field. So the UFO contact is not what the people think it is. The extraterrestrials are here, and they are willing to give us a hand in a sort of situation, for sure. But we need to win. We need to, uh, in some way, deserve it. Because we are lazy. We don't want to change. We don't want to, what we want is to have easy solutions for our problems and, cha and uh, give the responsibility for the solution to somebody else. They're not going to do that. They are not going to come here and resolve our problems. They're not going to come here and program our minds to be able to be more conscious about our nature and damage we're already doing to our planet. They're not going to come back here and take control because we are grown up enough to have this awareness in regards to what is happening. And if we are dissatisfied in regards to what is happening, we need to change. They are willing to lend a hand in regards to these changes, for sure. But they are not going to resolve our problems. They are going to give us the ways to resolve our problems. But the solution, they need to come from us. What they're doing is a very beautiful advertising campaign in regards to their existence, their here, what they're capable of, and to measure how childish we can be with our fears, how childish we can be in regards to uh, this incredible shadows we're having inside of ourselves, good extraterrestrial, bad extraterrestrials, good and evil, this incredible battle of angels and demons uh, the problems we're having right now here, somebody is coming because they want, they want to take control of ourselves. They don't need a slave. They don't need to take control of our planet. And if they want to, or in some moment they have to, this need, they're not going to shut a single bullet to do that. With this technology they are carrying right now, they can implant a gene, a bacteria, a virus in an atmosphere in 24 minutes, or in one hour, in one day, 
the whole human beings already gone. No bullets, no incredible explosions, destruction, all this garbage. And they can't spend their, the, ne the next holidays in Orlando, Florida, in Disney World. Nobody's going to bug. And everything is already here in place. And you know who's going to clap for them? All the other species already being destroyed for ourselves. <laughs> Because they're going to consider them who's going to free them, who's going to give us not only life back again, but a better world. We are the virus over here. We are destroying our planet in many ways. And we are destroying ourselves in other ways. Our work is 33 years old. We have a lot of knowledge. What kind of experience do we have? This is simple. We don't care to go to the field with a camera. We don't care to go to the field to take pictures. Pictures you can fake. Movies you can fake. But the possibility to be there, to have the chance to be for yourself. When I came here for the first time, Diana here is my witness. Nobody had a clue about who I was. Oh, prove it. Give me a proof of that. You're going to have it. Don't worry. So we went to the field, and they were there. Not only once, many, many, many other times. As was happening for 33 years. Not only here in Canada, all over the world. All over the world. So there's a lot of people already knowing exactly what we are and what we are doing. We brought the press a few times to special encounters where you're from. They were there. They recorded. They took the pictures. But what happened here in Canada or in the States? Nobody knows that. Came to the newspapers all over the world saying, yeah, we saw it. Next movie. This is a few programs from journalists coming to a sighting with us. All these people, they were witnesses. 40 journalists from different countries. They went to a special place. Are they correct time? This patient came. Do you see something like this in the news? No, right? For sure not. Interviews, expectations, Channel 23 from Miami. The object. This is pictures taken from the object. The newspapers, the journalists saying what they saw, how that would happen. This is from Argentina. Are the objects that were filmed? Yep. And the most interesting thing, this was a pre-arranged encounter. It was not something happening because, because, no. This day, at this time, they weren't there. 